Hi, it's time to move a bit further in this project. So let's start by disassembling old module. You can see that it was leaking a bit. It looks like gaskets are okay and the stainless steel plates are also without any damage. I guess that because of contamination they are stained on one side. Meanwhile I try to get rid of the flux from new holders. It's extremely hard and well boned to steel so I try to use water to dissolve it. This looked promising so I added a few spoons of acid. Mm, nice, look at those colors. Well, sure, it's really cute, but it doesn't look like too much has been dissolved. Actually, more like nothing. Also, now I have a lot more cleaning to do. Well, shit happens. Okay, so let's drill and thread holes for end plates. As always, I have to screw up the first piece, so I have a spare one. And of course, I have two small tab wrench. Well, this will be painful. I'm going to make 4-inch thread here, and I really don't know why I am tapping this screwed piece. Well, whatever. By use of force, I was able to remove most of flux from brazing here. In future I will definitely try to apply only tiny bit of flux paste and use a better brazing technique. Cleaning up this corrosion was also painful, but once again I tried to use acid to dissolve iron oxide and it worked quite well. Working with acid with bare hands is not a wise idea, but for a very short time it's not that harmful. Just don't lick your fingers. Now let's apply some paint. I did two layers and the result is obviously terrible. But hey, this is no beauty competition. I will prepare a ceiling gasket where I will make two small holes. I use drill to mark the positions of the holes, but pressing the rubber with a finger where the hole is it was a nice contour. This contour is then cut by sharp knife. To fix imperfections of support, I will add a rubber cutoffs I have left from making the gaskets. First I would recommend to add threaded rods to the support. I'm using long nuts so I don't have to level this. Then you can start sandwiching things. Now I try to align bottom holes as much as I could to minimize water flow resistance as through top holes mostly gas is flowing. Here goes the top plate and support. And I'm also adding these PVC tube insulators on the threaded rods. I bought them because in the prototype the plates were dangerously close to these rods. But now they are not really needed. We have to cut this rubber layer now to uncover holes for water and gas. 
I have this brass hose fitting. It looks like it doesn't like hydroxide very much. I will replace this with 4th inch stainless steel nipple. Well, I wouldn't mind a bit more space here, but it's doable. Now, compress the module by tightening nuts, ideally in X pattern and some precise torque, but who gives a shit. 